How do you feel meme culture fits into this? No, meme is in general, it's a very, it's a post-structuralist, it's a post-structuralist term and meme is also something quite really old, actually it's existing since, uh, you know, the anthropology that coined it in the first place and uh, um, meme culture, I think, proliferates more, again, because of the acceleration of the uh, media culture and the picture culture and the, and the, and the culture of consumption of the image and the immediate connection with what me image means and we do I think I do think we start to think faster now as well when we look at the image but this fast thinking is very much geared to understanding of the particular this three four seconds of attention it's not meant to ignite any action further it's not meant to allow you to sort of redefine things it's it's really comes down to humor exactly so the component if you will take basically a line of humor uh, irony and satire, and you'll take irony as, I don't know, a Socratic irony, for example, is an irony that's meant to bring down the Athenian Empire or something like that. That particular type of humor is very much on the margin now. It's very rare, I think, to meet something like that, to, to encounter actually the, uh, the uh, humor of that sort of power. We're more coming to the point of satisfying the immediate need to um, flip through real somehow it's almost a bit like you know this flipping flipping boards in 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 the kindergartens so you flip it immediately you see another picture and then it flips back and and you forgot about it if you did not make a screenshot or if you if you, if you did make a snap of the work or something like that but it's not that's what i feel is lacking in a sense of political agency because even if you look now at the contemporary political crisis that are happening most of them are happening that there's very few that is happening because of the subversion actually a lot of things happening because of uncovering specific uh, uh, specific uh, for example misuses nepotisms and so on it's more it's a dark way of criticizing power but it's not the, the what is interesting about humor and that's actually what I think Payam is completely right the humor is a very light way of approaching of, of actually connecting with with a populace it's a very light entrance door into criticism it's maybe the most kind way to try to invite general public into conversation about politics but I do think that we need to rethink the way how we are building these doors. Because the way we're building this door, this door does not look inviting anymore. This door allows to uh, um, make a snap of it, but it's not allowing you to actually, it's not, it's not sort of motivating you to knock or to, to turn the, uh, the handle. And, and therefore, the function, function-wise, it's aestheticized, but it's not driven by any sort of agency within it.